okay guys uh, like i said in my previous video uh, about my happy predicament i'm checking out uh, some game engines and right now i'm checking out the Gado game engine and i want to make a video about my experience because i'm trying to understand how this engine works and this is no tutorial uh, whatsoever it's just my uh, my little journey a little update video if you want however if you want to know how to create uh, a car a drivable car in the Gado engine and then i will link the video tutorial i followed to create this little guy here uh, in this in the description so uh, i'm gonna make sure that the video is here because this car here what you can see right now is based on the nice tutorial i saw and i'm still not finished with that okay let's let's do something fun for for uh, to get started so we have a, a car and we can drive it forward backwards with the keys we could also use a controller i set that up and we have some little bit of physics i hope yeah it works yeah this is the only cube it has no collision but the rest should have so as you can see we can uh, hit some cubes. The cubes are created in uh, Gadot itself and uh, parts of the car too and the rest is imported from Blender. So what you see in the background is an HDRI image which I created in Blender. It's, uh, uh, it's my cyber city scene. Um, there will be an animation at some point and I imported this as an HDR, uh, HDRI I think um, into the Gado engine. I hope it's called HDRI. This is also a little bit new for me. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so I watched a lot of tutorials on how to make stuff. And then I experimented a little bit with the texturing in Gado. And this guy actually is interesting because this guy drove me a little bit crazy. I created a fan endless loop spinning animation in Blender. I can show you this actually. I prepared that and now to make this guy here spin endlessly in Gado, uh, there was one crucial point in Blender. Uh, uh, I googled it obviously. You gotta, I believe so, so don't rely on this 100%. Uh, I'm still f try to figure things out. I mean, I'm, I can do animations meanwhile, that's not a problem, but I'm not an expert of exporting animations yet. Um, so this is something totally new for me. And it seems to be the case, not quite sure, that we have to, uh, all the, if we want to have an endless loop animation, for Godot, for, uh, for instance, we need to to uh, to write um, a stroke loop uh yeah uh, and it has to the name has to be like that cylinder or animation name and then uh, the stroke and uh, loop and then it works in in Gado. otherwise uh, it will not be in a loop but only a, a, a short animation or animation for once so i think so Keep in mind, I'm still trying to figure things out. Uh, yesterday, I uh, finished this uh, little... Oh, here's the ball. Yeah, the ball is funny, actually. Yeah. The ball behaves too. And, oh, yeah, I gave him a little bit less gravity. Um, so I made uh, a little video for my for my friends and brother. I uh, showed him some little progress yesterday already in the German language. And in the video the ball had a normal gravity but i thought it's funny to play around i got lost um let's yeah let, let let me talk about something um so first of all this is um kind of uh, a lot of things are happening but i assume now i uh, i improve slower so um like i said the car is not finished yet i have to 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 finish the tutorial and to learn so learning about how to actually uh, script things so the good thing is um this is all script uh, i needed for the car to make uh, this uh, little game already so that's good because it's not overwhelming like everything else it's very simple you can understand that especially if you follow the tutorial which i will link um and that makes sense so and that's good because there are so many tutorials which start already um and to me that's that's too much 
I like to, to start very slow. So I, I, when I encounter new things, I would like to, to understand, for example, how can I make a cube just move? So uh, this is how I like to approach new things. I don't want to get uh, l watch videos where they explain how to animate a character. This is already too much. I mean, uh, this just overwhelms me and confuses the heck out of me. So I checked out so many tutorials and every tutorial is great for a certain point, uh, you know, for a certain where, you know, it depends on where you are uh, with your journey. So there is, um, all those videos are good, but some of them being overwhelmingly hard, uh, especially if you do not understand uh, scripting. Um, yeah, so I checked out a little bit of the Visual Script 2 in the other project. And um, then I tried uh, the writing script again, and I was happy that I, that this is, you know, so easy at first. It will... You know, that's sure, it will be a, a much more complex. What you see here, this was just testing wise. I just experimented and this is a bunch of nonsense. I, I, I guess so. Uh, I just uh, had a problem. I This is also a thing I would like to talk about. Um, in the video tutorial of the car, uh, like I haven't finished this, the second part, watching um there will be the camera will be addressed so i assume i will be able to um to drive around with the car and then i can also probably look around um so that's cool and uh, neat and dandy and fine and so on uh, however what i could not find and i tried uh, looking for a tutorial is um Let's assume I, I want to have uh, two different camera views and I don't want to move the camera. I just want to switch from camera A to camera B and uh, by using uh, a key, like a, a button. So let's say when I press the button, um, when I press the space bar, for example, uh, that should initiate a camera change, a camera change. Uh, I have no idea how to make this happen uh, with scripts. Couldn't find anything on YouTube. Probably there are a lot of things um, written, documented, and I also took a look. But I, this is still overwhelming when I look for stuff. I, I yeah, that's something um, I gotta figure out because I really want to know how to use two cameras or three or four, um, and to change the camera by pressing a button. That would be a, yeah, a great thing to, to, to know because, you know, that's something I, I'm interested in. Um, yeah, so let me just... Uh, I need a glass of water. Okie dokie. So the camera thing is... This is something I, I really... Uh, about. I cannot really find if something yet, but maybe in the, in the future. Um, yeah, what else is uh, kind of interesting here? Yeah, so I played around with the world environment, uh, texturing the ground. The, the ground texture is in, uh, made in Blender. S so is actually every texture you see, even if it's a crappy one like this guy, is uh, made in Blender or the house. So, I mean, it looks gross actually there. Oh, there's also something wrong. There's the wrong texture or it's weirdly stretched, but that's okay. It was just a little bit of testing. Um, in the Gado engine. So, yeah, world environment we have here, and uh, well, I don't want to apologize for the mess, but it's certainly a mess. So we have the world environment. Uh, I played around with this here a little bit, and it's um, interesting. I, I like what you can do. I think you can. Um, well, I like when you when you can change a little bit of the of the scene. Uh, and if I see an impact immediately, this is how I uh, like to approach uh, stuff. You know, I, I play, a, I just do something, and if it changes visually, then um, it makes me happy because I, I understand this is the way I, I learn, um, and that's very cool. So, uh, but I assume you can, you know, ah, glow is also interesting. But I figure out this already. This can. Uh, have a deep impact on the on the performance. So, but you see, you're changing some values, and then 
something happens or it doesn't uh, immediately and this is a great way to learn stuff because it's funny okay um yeah so we have glow then uh, focus uh, interesting i think this is something we can use later on for making a horror scene maybe or also maybe it has an, a, a good ap effect on the performance um it can look a lot better like uh, I'm, again i'm not uh, used to experimented in another scene with that uh, was a little bit better i did it there a little bit better no, i cannot can do it better right now uh, anyway doesn't really matter it's a nice tool maybe i want to show you the other scene too um yeah and then we have a direct light somewhere here again this is a, a mesh a, a, a mess a mesh mess if you want where is my direct light here no this is my spotlight ah yeah i, I put a spotlight onto my car and um also side note is um, again the car's uh, behavior is based on the video tutorial and then to make the car look nicer i i just put it um sorry where's my car here just put it my my main car onto the tutorial car actually <laughs> and then i f uh, f figure i found uh, out that this works actually very easy and that's cool because you, you this basically already solves the problem um the uh, you can set up a, a nice uh, collision car and uh, the visual car can be then uh, put on top of this and it will not interfere with the uh, with the tires and then we can also put some visual tires um our wheels onto our um, collision car if you want so that's already good that gives me some ideas to work with that that's cool yeah so we can make a auto ball game and um, yeah I ex just experimented here a little bit with um, you know uh, importing stuff uh, but it looks very uh, yeah well it looks like it looks when you start with things I guess um, yeah, another thing what, what bothers me a little bit is, I mean, it's probably solvable, but um, ah, let's show something different. Yeah, this one is also important. You can actually set up some keys for yourself. So the here I did this like in the video tutorial. Um, you can create your own uh, key layout, you know, uh, you add some functions or i don't know if I, uh, those are functions but uh, the back here or forward and right left is actually used in the script here uh, as you can see in here so it's it's a very simple thing because it it's based on the on the car um thing <laughs> yeah and the car thing yeah vehicle body there's a vehicle body um and that basically that's also the reason why the scripting here seems to seems so easy because uh, gato is already doing a lot of, of things in the background i assume um and so basically we all we had to set up is a function which we called uh, physical progress delta y i don't know that's what we had to do and then steering that makes sense you know is input and is input right and left and uh, it's also engine force it means how fast the, uh, the, the, the car goes backwards or forwards um, uh, this also would change the how fast let's just do it for for, for fun purposes we change it to thousand and we say play and that's now press see it's already faster and since the car has also gravity and stuff like that this this really messes around with yeah, the car is it's not a glitch or something it's just you can see the car is um so strong that it cannot uh, maintain to stay uh his own yeah it's you know it's just a fast you imagine you have like, like a light car and you 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 put on a rocket well good luck with that um, also the steering thing in the next uh, video tutorial I, I glimpsed already in uh, I continue watching it um, we I think we're gonna address this thing here and so on yeah so 
Okay, that is very good for me. Again, this is very easy. I like that a lot. It starts easy and then it gets more complicated uh, step by step. I really, I'm not a fan of, of when I, I really wish there would be more tutorials um, which show you how to create a cube and let a cube jump, a cube dance, you know, something like that. Because I think characters and animations, which even if you just import that, there is an asset library here uh, I guess so somewhere I haven't really do, done that uh, didn't do much um, it's just so overwhelming it is to me just overwhelming I, I need it as simple as possible but anyway um, yeah so there the one annoying thing um, when I use when I started to learn blender is um, that uh, I saved my blender file and uh, if I screwed something up and I didn't know how to fix it, I just uh, closed my Blender file uh, or Blender and opened, uh, reopened it again. And it was, uh, you know, uh, the, the error was gone because I haven't saved, I didn't save the, I didn't save the error. Uh, here in Gadoo, sometimes I mess up something and then I think, hey, let's close the window. Let's restart it again, and then it it also saved the the, the, the mess I made. Um, it probably has to do with uh, with an autosave function. Not sure if it's autosaved all the time, if it autosaves sometimes, or if it out, uh, or, or if it saves when I when I close the program. Um, maybe I should have just you know checked out those those things here. But you know I'm not complaining. It's just my. Um, the, uh, things uh, which I encounter on network yeah so but I think I, I covered everything so this is where I am right now now let's, let's just drive around again it's just more fun uh, so I like a lot how how easy it is to, to, to set up some some little col collision stuff. Oh no, change the ball. Let's change the ball. Yeah, let's change the ball. It's funny. Oh, also because let's just take a look at this on this guy. So we have our little ball here, right? Um, sometimes what I do or what happens often is that I, this is the whole object when I grabbed it. And those are the childs of the object. So this is basically, this is what, what we should grab if we want to change it, the position in the in the world. Uh, sometimes I accidentally grab the mesh instance, for example, if I do that, then the mesh instance is now in a different position as the collision shape, which then can be confusing because you 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 collide with the collision in the world, but you don't see the collision. So it seems to be, uh, it looks like a glitch, so that's confusing. So what you should do is close that, you know, um, there's a little uh, window. Uh, a little arrow and only if you want to change uh, the size of, of it or something uh, in the world or change the position then move this guy around okay let's make him simpler bigger let's see if this works just like that okay let's make it uh, free uh, that's good free and free because he's i mean if it's a light ball See, this is a, what I, this is exactly what happened. I don't know why this happened right now. What is he saying to me? Size change to Rick uh, in character uh, will be overwritten by the physics engine when running. I sure. Change the size, children. Yeah, I don't know what it says, what it means exactly, but I assume we, we just changed it in a lazy way. Um, this has. I, I think I get it, but it's not important for what we want to do because uh, I just want to make him bigger because we the gravity is uh, 0 0.1 uh, 0 .1, and I think it, it should be okay. I think it will be, uh, it will look like a huge uh, light ball. Let's just see if this, yeah, this is actually what I was uh, looking for because he is so big. Um, he, he he shall be you know like in this light you know the when i was a kid we played uh, you know at, at school with some with some huge uh we didn't do this often which, uh, it should be more often huge uh light balls and and stuff you know outside 
when we were on you know a school vacation or something like that i don't know how to call it in the english one this reminded me on that anyway so now it we have a huge guy here yay look at you so okay but i think i'm done i'm not sure if i have to talk more let me think do i have something important to say live a live it is called to say a live a live that's very important okay guys that's it uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna say goodbye and the uh, next update will come but it really don't expect anything now um i think the the steps are now mo much slower but the first impression oh yeah that might be um yeah i like that though so far because it's pretty close to, to a blender and it's free and it's small it's uh, 74 gigabyte or oh, 75 uh, megabyte <laughs> not gigabyte megabyte uh, yeah the whole gato thing is 75 megabyte um yeah yeah. oh no i want to show you the other scene and that's it uh, wait okay guys so this is um the previous uh thing i think i named some of them uh, a good idea basically is to name um some projects when you make a tutorial like your tutorial so then you can look it up again and uh, when you take a break i think that's a good idea so that's the name of the, of some tutorials i checked out i believe uh okay i think car is the one we want to check out um just double clicking should be sufficient and here we go this is the model i shot before and here i experimented with uh, another hdri which is again a new thing to me uh I checked out on YouTube how to create HDRIs uh, in Blender, and uh, that's a good, easy way to 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 use some of those uh, things because you can do. I think I have the universe here. Yeah, you can uh, change it like so, and let's use Universe Two. I hope I have two. I mean those HDRIs are also not per perfect, I figured out I can make them even better. But that's a nice way to make uh, a space, you know, uh, game. And here I used visual scripting, I believe. Let's check this out. Uh, car Anton. Uh, how did I do that? Yeah, this is a visual script. Um, I don't know where, oh, what of those things I, I choose. Uh, it's depending. I cannot tell because when I work with this I think oh that's great and when I work with the other thing and it works too it's also great whatever works is feels good so it doesn't really matter if it's visual or not if it's not overwhelming and if it works I believe that that is what I like I mean who, who doesn't of course I mean it makes sense okay now we are really done ah maybe the folk yeah here this might be a better environment to show you the the, the world folk stuff uh here folk on and how did i change that oh yeah uh, uh, it doesn't work ah here this does something yeah i just ah this is good maybe i just think if you use that uh, in a good way you can make a, a sand hill like horror game you know i mean maybe not with this guy <laughs> okay okay so i'm out i'm gonna go now good uh, goodbye until the next uh, video bye bye